What's up guys? Furious Pete with the Diva. Mill Diva. We're on a mission to hit up the grocery store and find the best, cheapest wine in Italy. That's right, we've been venturing around Italy and one of the perks of coming to these wonderful countries is getting some damn cheap wine. And today we're gonna find out what is the best cheap wine you can get. We're hitting up the grocery store and we're gonna stock up. Let's go. Uh, so is it this one? Or this one? So we're gonna start off by getting a wine that comes in a plastic bottle. Should we get white or red? No. I feel like white is probably tastier. One. Next up, we got the traditional box wine. We gotta go for the 89 center. That is probably gonna be our cheapest wine that we're gonna be able to get. Red or white in this one. I think, I think a red. can of beans back home is more expensive than a thing of wine like Yeah, that. totally, for sure. I think we'll do red here. Yeah. Red boxed wine. We didn't go for the dollar twenty right here. This is too too small, but we didn't go for the dollar dollar ten dollar twenty. We went for the budget. We went for the budget of the budget. You know, because when you're backpacking around Europe, for example, we're all, all we can be on budgets. We gotta save up. We gotta drink our boxed wine. It can get really expensive. What else do we have here? Tora Pietara. This is a dollar forty nine. Let's put that guy in the basket. What's a rosato? I don't know, but we already got our box wine. Or should we do, we should get another box wine to show, showcase if there's like a better boxed wine. Oh, this is number one in Italia. Oh, we gotta get the number one. Okay. Totally, if it's number one for a buck 20, you know we, gotta, we gotta really see if it's number one. He was number one. A Chardonnay? Like, I could get alcohol poisoning from all this uh, for under like $10 right now. This one is known as Via Deglioni. Chardonnay, the do it. We need some red bottles. Oh no, we need we need a prosecco. Oh yeah, prosecco. Get, prosecco, get prosecco. that cheap prosecco. Uh, I don't know Might if well I feel like blowing out all my cash. I'm gonna do the 179 over the 299. That sounds like a great idea. All right, now we need a couple more bottles of red. So far, every single bottle that we've gotten has been under two euros. I think we should continue that trend where we just simply can't go above two euros. This is a Merlot. It's on special for 199 right now. It's an offerta, so we should get that, right? They're offering us uh, alcohol poisoning or offering us <laughs> wine at a super <laughs> price. Oh, is that the same one? Oh, yeah. if, if it's in a bin, it's gotta be good. Yeah, barrel This is Asian. way too expensive for us, $7.90, that is just nuts. Or is that, oh, this is buy one, get one free. So it ends up being four bucks. Here, let's get a rosé. For one sixty-nine, we're gonna get a rosé, and it's going to be same company as that Chardonnay. What, what else do we need? We need cups. How are we gonna we open this wine? Turn around. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Done. Done and done. This is actually going to cost more than a bunch of bottles combined. <laughs> All right, guys, what is happening, my friends? We are here in Verona, Italy right now. We had a few days to travel around. Back in the day, I used to backpack all the time. I got, I loved it. It was, it was my favorite thing to do, except Usually when you're backpacking, especially on your own, you're on a really tight budget. I mean, you're not really gonna splurge on all those really expensive wines. So today we are going to evaluate a bunch of wines and tell you guys yes. which wine is worth buying when you guys are on a budget. Is it going to be the boxed wine? Is it going to be the wine in a plastic bottle like this? Is it going to be the Prosecco? At least that's what we think it is. When you're celebrating on a budget. When you're celebrating on a budget. All of these wines were two euros or less. In fact, some of these are less than one euro. Being from Canada, like, we don't see this. Well, it's legally not allowed to be sold for that. Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna do is crack open one bottle at a time and tell you guys yay or nay. Mm. And that, and then at the end, I think we're gonna evaluate a winner. I mean, if we can still sit up straight. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest issue with these cheap wines is a big headache the next day. We gotta make sure that we at least, if we're gonna experience that big headache the next day, at least we're experiencing good flavor throughout this process. We were going to buy a bottle opener, 
But the bottle opener costs the same amount as all these wines Combined. put together. That's right. So what did we do instead? We borrowed it from the concierge. There you go. That's what you should be doing. See, that's another traveler hack. Another traveler hack. Usually if you are backpacking, you're probably in a hostel. There's probably one in the kitchen in the hostel. We're currently in a, a little hotel here and we managed to get one of these, but they were reluctant to give it to us. Yeah, she was thinking we were, I don't know, gonna run away with it or something. Or she just didn't understand what we were doing. I Most, tried my best to explain that we were just gonna be opening up bottles and getting drunk in the room, but, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> she eventually understood. All right, so we got our wine glasses right here. Boom. And we're going to just get going. What <laughs> bottle do you want me to open up first? Uh, I think a white. A white, all right. So we got a plastic bottle. We got two uh, bottles and glass. Which one would you like to start with? Let's crack the plastic one. All right, we're gonna start I'm off very with the curious plastic. About this. I am very too. I don't think I've ever, ever. seen wine. Of, is it the only way we've seen it in plastic? Is if it's box wine and inside the uh, box is a plastic bag, right, right. bladder. So here it is, guys. So this is bottle number one. And I'm gonna read it because Peter butchers every language other than. It's um, true. It's true. So other than no, he butchers every language. <laughs> This one is called San Matteo Trebbiano Rubiconne. This sounds delicious based right. on the way I pronounce that. 1.5 uh, liters of wine. So it's double the volume of a normal bottle. So there's a yeah. lot of va value here, right here. This one was, try, 190 for the bottle. So it's 95 cents for uh, if it was in a glass bottle and 750 mil like a usual bottle it would be 95 cents each anyways let's get started to this you okay. want to crack it open uh yes let's do it do the honors all right here crack i don't really want it to fizz oh no oh. fizz I mean, there shouldn't really be fizz, right? That's a good sign. <laughs> Is it really? This could be a diamond in the rock. <laughs> you like this? <laughs> oh, let me pour this very expensive royal wine for you. Oh, that's too much. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're sampling. We're sampling. We're sampling. If if a wine is good, then we'll go for it. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. You give me more. So I see what you're doing tonight. <laughs> Let's have a little smell. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> this doesn't smell as great as I was Did you fart? No. <laughs> Do we have to drink this? <laughs> We're not even drinking it. I'm having fun. This smells not good. I mean, it's it's not great. It's also not like acid or anything. I need. I think we needed to have a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, I wanted to say it's terrible. It's not. It smells a lot worse than it tastes. Maybe you need to air it out first. <laughs> do you air out white wine? No, though? no, but maybe with these kinds you do need to. I'll be honest guys, it smells terrible or not good. <laughs> has no like pleasant aroma, but the taste is not that bad. We're drinking these wines at room temperature. You're on the go, you're backpacking, you don't have time to it's share these wines. Yeah, not awful, not great. I mean, exactly, for the cost, if you have uh, a few glasses of this, it's not gonna be pleasant. I don't think so either. This is good. You know what this is good with? I bet big sandwich. Because the sandwich kills the taste of the wine. Precisely. <laughs> On to the next wine. We want to do a red wine next. The box wine. We'll go higher class, guys. Wine number two is a Merlot. In case you ever end up in Italy and see this wine, this is Merlot Corvina Veneto, and it is a 2016 product of Italy. It is 199. I feel like when a wine, when you have to uncork a wine, it tastes better. It also makes it look more expensive. Yes. If you really want to go to somebody and try and like kind of impress them, bottle of wine might be the way to go. Oh my god, I thought you just knocked yourself in the head. Right? <laughs> Some of these wines, I'm starting to think like, it costs more for the bottle than the wine itself. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. I always pour for you and you okay. always pour for me. Right off the bat, watch out. I feel like this smells better than the other white. I'm not a good um, spinner. Is this an alcoholic fidget spinner? Okay, this one is out. Mm. We're gonna do a, a box wine next. Yes. 
Uh, we got two box wines budget and I'm gonna save that one for the very end because this it was surprise us. This was the cheapest one so I figured we wait with that one till the end. So here we go. Uh a little bit of they say this is number one in Italy. So if it says it's number one, that's gotta be good. Is this a shake before drinking wine? Whoa that's a huge serving. Do you shake a bottle of wine? No. Oops. Oh no I was supposed to do that. That was bad luck for seven years. The verdict Let's see here. This is a darker one, which I like right away. Yeah. I like that side. <laughs> it does have, well, now that you've mentioned, here's the thing with wine. If you hear something smells like something, you quickly convince yourself that it does smell yeah. like that. So now I think it smells like beach. Cheers. No. <laughs> this is what not. did you say? You were number one? <laughs> no. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. One more sip. And you gotta do like... it. Mm. Now the smell is worse. Terrible. And it's dry. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't it? Um, let, sure, like, sure. I feel like I have copper in my mouth. You didn't have to finish it. Do you but taste I, the copper I'll, tones? I'll, I'll, Get I'll, it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish it too for it to be. Oh. Mm, oh. No good. Ooh, on to the next. This is our Prosecco. Prosecco style of wine. I think it's not fancy enough to be called Prosecco. Oh, it's Spumanti. What is that? Yeah. Oh, gotta, smell, smell first, then cheers. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't smell good. It smells like Spumanti. Bambino. Yeah, is this like Bambino? Yeah. It oh. tastes like pure sugar. It's not as like sweet it's I not think, that's as... Bambino is like pure sweet. This isn't as sweet. It's a lot sweeter than a regular, a good Prosecco. We had a bunch of like good Prosecco like a couple days ago. and Celebratory. Uh, it's really not terrible. Kind of Love Cheers it. That. All right, what is up next? I'd say a white wine. Wine number five. So this is the Rosé di Merlot Vino Frizzante. Is it with two Zs you say frizzy? Oh my God, it's gonna spill if you do that. <laughs> Ooh, this is like another champagne. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. We're doing everything backwards now. Nope. No. It's okay. It's got no flavor, eh? Tastes so black. Okay, so they got it backwards. I think the <clears throat> spumanti should have tasted like this. Ooh, this is not good, eh? That that's just what, tastes like. That's what you get for pouring yourself more. <laughs> we were going for the two euros and under. We had to get this one. So the same company. This is a Chardonnay, but it's Frizzante as well. There we go. It's a boy. I feel like I got a headache already. I'm actually like I'm buzzing. <laughs> this is a good one. Are you kidding me? Are your taste buds up now? It tastes just like the other one. It tastes just as bad as the other one. <laughs> Now you agree? As soon as you say that, obviously I'm gonna gag. It tastes just like the rosé. <laughs> this gets an X from us. Sorry guys. So we're gonna we're saving the budget one for the end because we feel like if this one is really good, this will be our budget go-to. We are going to try this guy, Dora Pietra. Oh, actually, this is Moses' job too. Oh, but that was pretty good. Weird vowels. Next That's right, to Tora. Tora Pietra. <laughs> That's a farty one. Yeah, this is what Chardonnay smells Are you smell buzzed? Like. Am, I, am I just lightweight today? You're lightweight always. I got a lot of sun today. You're always That's lightweight. My excuse. This, this smells what a Chardonnay smells like normally. It's only 10% alcohol. <laughs> this is frizzy too. <laughs> ah, it's frizzante. Mm. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. How do you open this one? Uh, oh, there's no cap on this. I just realized. Vino Rosso. It could be good. It could be awful. Yeah, I am okay. spinning, yo. Let's just open this. It's, it's already it's midnight. It's midnight already. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's a good finale. It really isn't that bad. Hold on. It's tolerable. It actually is like easy to drink at the end. It's not horrible. <sighs> for 80 cents for a box of oh, wine. Yeah. 89 cents. And that is not a special price. That is regular price, 89 cents. For real, guys. We have a red wine for 89 cents. We have a bottle here for uh, $1.89. This is 1.5 liters though. So you're looking at under a dollar here. And then we got dessert wine here for a buck 
159, I believe it was. 179 a bottle. My head is buzzing right now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm ready to go good. party. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was something that like, I came to Italy and I was like, I was walking through a grocery store and I was like, I gotta do this. This is so valuable. This is valuable information. You go and travel, you don't know what to buy. You Like when it's cheap wine, you really have no idea which ones are good and bad. Most people probably wouldn't go for the box wine, but it is good. All the other ones in glass sucked shit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Check out all our links in the description below. Furious Apparel, for example, the V-neck I am wearing right now, which is one of my favorites of all time. And the chain. And our stainless steel uh, necklaces. You guys have been rocking these all over the world. It's just super, super cool. And it just creates really cool awareness. And uh, it's just a really cool cause. And thank you again for supporting the cause. Thank you again for tuning in. Check out all our social media links in the description below. Mel Diva, uh, she's very, very active on the Instagram and the snaps so I'll leave her links in the description and also my social media links on uh, Instagram Facebook and Twitter and snapchat and all that jazz anyways thanks again for tuning in we love you guys you guys stay sexy stay hungry get gains and get laid boom oh yeah bellissima